It's not the way we do things. Uh, we, 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 you know, obviously, guys, you know, every kicker is different. I don't know if you guys realize that or not. So, um, you know, everybody has something that they do that's a little bit different in terms of where their plant foot lands and, and how they strike the ball. You know, there's different types of kickers, first of all, uh, and how they strike the ball. So what I try to do as their coach is try to find out when they're striking the ball well, talking about kickers, not punters, uh, what are they doing when they're striking the ball well? Where's their plant foot? How are they making contact with the ball? Do they have enough leg lock? Uh, are they getting the right height on the ball? Are they getting it off on times? I mean, all those things that we look for um, as a special team coordinator, and I think every special team coordinator should be uh, knowledgeable of, of, of this area, but what are they doing when they're striking the ball well and then see if we can replicate that over and over and over and over and over again. doesn't mean we're going to make every kick, but if it's a field goal kicker, the ball should be turning over like, like a field goal kicker. It shouldn't be you know, wobbling around like a, like a darn helicopter or anything like that. Uh, so we're trying to replicate that over and over and build some consistency with our kickers. So, I, yes, I work at, very closely with our kickers, punters, uh, long snappers, as well as I do, obviously, every other phase. Uh, golly, <laughs> I wish I did. I know uh, Clinton, Clinton has been punting phenomenal uh, the first few days. Uh, he's, he's really trying to hone in on his technique, and we're trying to establish a little bit more consistency from him. Uh, you know, one of the things I noticed in film when I, when I studied him last year is that oftentimes, you know, though he had good hang time on some of his punts, every so often he missed, hit a bad one or step off slightly to the right all the time on film. And I, I was wondering if they were directional punting last year, but that wasn't intentional. So what we're trying to get him used to doing is, is working a straight line right now. And, and then at some point in time, we will be directional punting one side or the other, as I mentioned to you guys last time. Uh, but he's been doing a phenomenal job. He didn't have a very good day today, but Shoemaker had a phenomenal day today. Uh, really been honing in on him and trying to get him ready to go. And uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be curious to see how it turns out. I mean, uh, you know, both of those kids have, have ability. Uh, they striking the ball the best, most consistent throughout camp. But uh, Shoemaker today was out of this world. He really was. He was out of this world. He was booming today. He looked like Durst, and Durst looked like Shoemaker, to be honest with you. Yeah, <laughs> but it's good for him. It's good for him. I need to see right now how tough they are, and you know that that uh, is certainly there, there's one kind of toughness you, toughness that you can see when you just square off with a man and go against him one on one, and you do it once, and you take a break for a couple minutes, come back and do it again. But there's another type of toughness that's, that that shows up when a guy has to do it for a bunch of plays in a row. And it'll be interesting. Today was the most reps that they got for sure. So it'll be interesting to see uh, when I take a look at the tape how hard some of those guys were willing to play in that situation. To be real honest, the talk that's happened before we get around, I tell them that's all BTT. And I said that's before Troop Talk. I don't care anything about any of that. It's what we have now. And from what I've seen out there, the guys that we got, they're going to be competitive to go out there and compete. The biggest thing about them is the kids are working the tell off. Um, and confidence is something that they're lacking, and, I, and maybe it's from all the stuff that's been said, but I really haven't paid a lot of attention to it. Uh, I'm, I'm really focused on trying to get those guys better from where they are right now by the time we get there this fall. You know, I tell you what I've seen is he's smart. He can learn quick. Um, he's got a good feel for things like some of the motions, and he understands a little bit about windows and things like that. What I haven't been able to see is him make a cut or make a play yet. And, uh, you know, my big deal for him is he better get healthy because it's not personal, but he can't make the club in the tub. He'll be watching guys, to be real honest, until he can get out there and compete. And I feel bad for the kid because I can tell on his face and his body language that he wants to be out there. He's just frustrated with, you know, trying to get back and, you know, and, and until he's full goal, he's having to wear that orange jersey uh, to protect him, and I, I can't get a look that way. You know, Q, uh, we've got to get everything going in the same direction right now. He's kind of a long strider. I'm really trying to get Q to understand his body because he is a pretty receiver. You know, he looks the part. But uh, I told him right now he's like a limo without gas. He just looks good and I can't lie to him. <laughs> so I need him to go ahead and get some gas in his tank and go. But it's not because he doesn't want to. He, he just got to get under, He wants to do everything 100 miles an hour and he doesn't have all his body going the same direction. But once he gets that under, he's what you're looking for talent-wise with the receiver guys. He, he's an SEC player. 
there hadn't been a lot of live situations to find out, but I will know more when it's more like a game type situation because when they know they're protected, it's dead or it's not, the whistle's being blown quick, that your arms get a little longer. <laughs> We're going to find out what's going to happen when the bullets are flying when it's real live football. And uh, but I am encouraged, guys, don't get me wrong, I am encouraged by their attitude and, and the way that they are working because uh, they're taking a lot of pride in it. And, and obviously they've been beat up around here a bunch.